So, how much do you weigh? I'm not going to tell you that. How much do you weigh? I know exactly how much I weigh. And if you own an RV, you need to know how much you weigh too. Today we're going to do a little short video on how to prepare for and how to use cat scales. But we don't even own a cat. If you own an RV, I'm sure you're already aware there's certain things you need on day one. First off, a surge protector. This is a device that's used when you're plugged into shore power to help protect your RV from power surges, high voltage, low voltage, and things like that. Secondly, a tire pressure monitoring system, or TPMS. This is a device that's used as you're traveling down the road to help monitor tire pressure and tire temperature for sudden changes. Third, and I believe just as important, you need to know your gross vehicle weight. If you have a tow vehicle, an RV, how much do you weigh going down the road? This is a major safety issue, and God forbid you get in an accident and your insurance company realizes you are overweight, you may have some problems. So it's very, very important to get your weights. So I'm gonna show you the process that we use to prepare for and how to use a CAT scale. So let's head on over to the laptop and I'll show you what we do. Oh, that kind of CAT scale. <laughs> woman. Believe it or not, weighing your RV is probably the easiest part of the whole process as long as you do a little bit of prep work up front. And that's what I want to show you now. I am currently on the catscale.com website. And what I'm going to use this for is to find cat scales. So I can go to the main menu and come down to the cat scale locator link. I'll click on that. Scroll down about halfway down the page. Now I'm going to enter in a postal code you could enter in a city and a state and even the number of locations you want to search for. And we'll go ahead and click the submit button. Now what this does is it brings up a map with the results of your search. In this particular case, there's a cat scale just north of the town of Live Oak. Now I'm going to select that one. No particular reason, it's just I already have another tab opened up, zoomed in to that truck stop. So this is where a little bit of prep work really comes into play. I can look at the satellite view of the truck stop. I can see how to enter the truck stop. I can see how to exit the truck stop. I know exactly where the cat scale is. And I also know where there's some additional parking. So now that I know how to enter this truck stop, how to get to the cat scale, how to exit, the next thing I want to do is go back to the catscale.com website. And I want to download an app. So if we come over here to the main menu, there's a cat scale apps link. I'm going to click on that. And this, it kind of shows you two separate apps. The app on the left is called a cat scale locator. I personally don't use this. I would rather do what we just did. We're going to locate a truck stop. I'll probably use my laptop the day before. There is a way my truck app. Now this is where it, it's really nice and really speeds up the process. You can download this app, install it on your phone. And now what you'll do is you'll create an account. You'll enter in an email address and a payment method. So now when you get to the cat scale, all you have to do is open up this app, enter in the cat scale number, and within 30 seconds to a minute, your results of your weight will, come be, will be downloaded to the app. They will also send you an email. And if you wanted to, you could go inside and get a hard copy, but, but you don't have to. And that's where this, this app really comes into play. It saves you a, a lot of time so you don't have to go inside and wait in line. Now the process that we like to take is we like to weigh our tow vehicle first and then we weigh our tow vehicle with the fifth wheel. And this is why. If you weigh your tow vehicle first, you can get the weight of that and you're going to pay about $12.50. That's how much at the time of this recording. Then you can come back around with your tow vehicle and your fifth wheel if that's what you have, and weigh that again. As long as you weigh that, make that second weight, it's called a reweight. as long as you do that within 24 hours, and at the same cat scale, you only have to pay $3 this time, again, at the time of, of this recording. If you went in and weighed your tow vehicle and your fifth wheel first, and then you came back around, you couldn't find a place to park your tow, or I'm sorry, you couldn't find a place to park your fifth wheel, now you're not gonna be able to make that reweigh, and you're gonna have to come back another day, or you know, just skip that part all together. So it does help save you a little bit of money if you weigh your tow vehicle first and then uh, do your tow vehicle and your RV separately. So now that we have all our prep work done, let's go to the cat scale and weigh our rigs. We 
We're just going to check to make sure our axles are on the proper scales. There's a scale for your front axle, scale for your drive axle, and then the trailer axle. So we're just going to make a real quick check before we start the process. Okay. Now with the Way My Truck app, all we have to do is look at the location number. In this particular case, at 1624. I'm going to punch that into the app. It accepted it. It'll take a few minutes. Um, you can see here, we're just going to, it's asking you for what company. We just typed in private, a tractor number, a trailer number, and the commodity. And we just typed in tractor number one, trailer one, and just freight of all kinds. It really doesn't matter, it's just for your records. We'll accept that. There's a $12.50 fee. We'll go ahead and accept that. We're waiting on the Waymaster inside, and what they're really doing, they're just making sure that we're set up correctly on the scales. So we have our information now. We're done. We have it. We have the information, but I will also walk inside and get a hard copy of the receipt or of the uh, the weights. Now that we did this without the RV, we're going to go hook our RV back up and do it again with the RV to get our total weight. So as you can see, a little bit of prep work, the way my truck app makes a trip to the cast scales a very simple process. Now all you have to do, go back, crunch your numbers, make sure you're within all your weight limits. We hope you enjoyed our video. Please subscribe and leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, always live life to the fullest.